Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West and thanks for stopping by to take a look at this video. What we're going to do is demonstrate how easy it is to create a solid model for a CY axis part using 1CNC. So let's get started. All right, so if you were going to create this part from scratch, you would have a print or maybe a couple of different prints that would provide all the dimensions for you. We're going to be doing exactly the same thing. In fact, I created some prints before this video and I just placed them on different layers. In fact, let me show you what those look like. We're going to turn this layer off. Let's take a look at the first print. This is going to help us create the cross section. We'll take the cross section, rotate it to create a solid model. The second print is going to help us create this flat shelf that gets cut into the part. And you can see here's the dimensions over there. That looks good. Next print we're going to use is going to help us create this square pocket and these four holes. Let's turn that off. Take a look at the next one. This next print I created is going to help us create these notches on the very face of the part. And the last print is going to help us create these eight axial holes that get created on this flange right here. So let's get started with that cross section. So to begin with, when using the lathe software within 1CNC, of course you can use ZX coordinates to create your geometry if you want. Having said that, you can also set it up to use XY coordinates. I feel more comfortable using XY, so you can see that within my system here, if I go to properties, you can see that I have 1CNC set up to use XY and Z coordinates for my geometry creation. Okay, now I'm also going to create my lines in a consecutive fashion. You don't have to do that. You can create the lines in any order that you'd like. So let's get started. I'm going to turn this print layer off. Let's head over to the main toolbar, select line. And so this line is going to start at X minus 2.8. I'm going to say that looks good. So I'm going to click OK to that. Now the line is going to go up to Y 1.55. That looks good. So I'll click OK. Let's go to X0 now. We'll click OK. And the Y value we'll put in 2 inches now. Now again, I'm creating this geometry in a consecutive fashion, but you don't have to do that. Whatever is easiest for you. And this Y value is going to head up to 3 inches now. That looks great. Now we're going to take the X value, go to minus 4 inches. We'll click OK. The Y value is going to go to 3.75. We'll click OK to that. The last X value is going to be minus 4.5. And that looks great. And the Y value, let's take that down to Y0. We'll click OK. And when we're finished, we'll just right hand mouse click. So let's compare this geometry now with our print. So if I turn this print layer on and off, we're doing very good. Now this part has chamfers and it has some fillets. You can really put those on anytime. In fact, I'm going to save those for later on. Let's just quickly take this shape now and create a solid model from it. So to do that, we're going to head over to our main toolbar, select Solids, Revolve. Again, because I'm working with the XY coordinate system, we're going to rotate around the X axis. And I'm just going to select my geometry, hit the F3 key to select the rest, hit Cancel, and then there's our solid model. That looks great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut that shelf into the part. So let's do this. Let's head to a top view. Let's turn this layer off. And let's take a look at this print and show you what we're going to do. So using these dimensions here, we're going to cut this shelf in the part. Now the dimension to remember is 2.25, 2.25. So let's remember that. Let's turn that, turn that back on. Now I'm going to be using a different construction plane uh, to create the geometry that I'm going to use to cut this out. So to change construction planes, I'm going to come down here to my construction plane tools. Up here at the top, these are all the tools for creating and modifying construction planes. I'm going to use a default construction plane that's already here though, the YZ. And in fact, let's turn that on so we can see it. That looks good. If I hit the space bar and choose plane, one CNC will rotate the drawing so that the part is normal to the, or excuse me, the view is normal to the construction plane, which is nice. So here's the datum right here. Now, remember that coordinate, that 2.25. So let's head over to our line tool. I'm going to use a rectangle and I'm going to start this rectangle at that number we memorized, the 2.25. And all I want to do now is I'm just defining one corner of the rectangle. I already have the X value locked in. I can put the Y value anywhere I want. Having said that, I just want to make sure it's outside this diameter right here. I also don't need a corner radius. Let's turn that off real quick. So I'm just going to left click and I'm going to drag down like this so we have something that looks just like that. 
So I'm going to use that rectangle now uh, to cut into the part. So to do that, we're going to go over here to our main toolbar. We're going to use Extrude Cut. I'm going to left click that rectangle and then we can type in coordinates over here where it says depth or you can just use your cursor and drag this anywhere you'd like. I'm going to drag this to minus 3.25 left hand mouse click and there we go. There's the the cut in the part. It's really that simple. Now I'm going to clean the geometry up a little bit. I don't really need this rectangle anymore so why don't we select that and I'm just going to hit the delete key on the keyboard to wipe that out. I am going to save this geometry right here because we're going to use that later on for manufacture. So the next step is to cut that square pocket and there's four holes in there. So let's take a look at this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create this square pocket and we're going to cut these four holes in the part. Now here are the dimensions and you can see this rectangle right here. This rectangle defines this rectangular face right here. Notice how the dimensions are measured from this lower left hand corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a construction plane on the part that has its datum, its x0, y0, z0 in that lower left hand corner and then we'll use these dimensions to create the the pocket. Alright, so let's turn our print off. Let's turn our part back on and let's create that construction plane. So to do that we're going to go back into our construction plane tools and remember up here at the top these are all the commands for creating and modifying construction planes. I'm going to use this option here called create plane from points. This will allow me to create a construction plane through three points. First point I digitize that's the datum, that's the x0, y0, z0. Second point I digitize is the x positive. Third point I digitize is the y positive. So there's our construction plane. Now we can create our geometry. Why don't we start with the holes? So I'm going to go into the arc command. I already have a diameter set at 0.1875. Let's put in 0 for z. Uh, the x value is going to be 0.4 and the y value is also going to be 0.4. That looks good so I'll click OK to that. Now the next x value is going to be 2.1. We'll click OK to that. And now the y value is going to be 2.1. We'll click OK to that. And now the X value is going to be 0.4. We'll click OK to that. We're finished. We can right hand mouse click. What's really nice is I can hit the space bar on the keyboard and hit plane and one CNC will rotate the view so it's normal to that construction plane. So there's those four holes. Now let's create that square pocket. So I'm going to use the same technique. We're going to go into rectangle and for the corner radius I'm going to say that has a corner radius of 125 thousandths and again we're going to put in a zero for Z. The first corner of our square pocket is going to be X.5 Y.5 going to click OK to that and of course you can use coordinate input for the next corner of the square but I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to snap and wait till I see a length and a height of 1.5 left click when we're finished we can right hand mouse click and there we go there is our square pocket and our four holes so let's use the extrude cut command to quickly create that so we'll go back over here extrude cut left click that I'm just going to drag it down to right about there and left click and there we go. Now I want these four holes to be at minus 0.5 so I'm going to type in a value here minus 0.5. Now all I have to do is just double click these circles so just two, two left hand mouse clicks will create the hole each one at minus 0.5. Right hand mouse click and there we go that's looking really good. Now I think I do want to save this construction plane for later on in manufacture so let's come down here to our plane tools one last time I'm gonna hit save and why don't we just call this I'm just gonna call it face 2 and we'll click OK to that and that way later on in manufacture we can use that to help orientate the part for our y-axis machining. Okay let's change our view to a top view again I'm going to turn our part off let's take a look at the next print here this is what we're going to do now we're going to create these two notches on the inside of the part and so if we look at this dimension we have from center line 1.75 so let's remember that uh, the width of the slots are one inch and it looks like we have a corner radius of 130 thousandths so let's build that so I'm going to turn that layer off let's turn our part back on and I think I want to use that construction plane we used a little earlier let's go back here to our construction planes and let's use that YZ construction plane again 
that looks very good again I'll hit the space bar hit plane so the views lined up with the construction plane and what we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle with a corner radius that's proper and we'll use that rectangle to cut those notches so let's do it let's head over here to line we'll go to rectangle and we want to make sure that our corner radius is set to 0.13 and for the first point of that of that rectangle let's put that at x.5 and the y value is going to be 1.75 seven five so we'll click OK to that and again we can use coordinates to define this next opposing corner of the rectangle but I think I'm just going to drag this out and I'm gonna wait till I get a length and a height that I want which is right there so I'll left click and when we're finished we'll right hand mouse click so that looks great so we're gonna be using that rectangle uh, to cut into the geometry so again we'll use that extrude cut command I'm going to left click that and I'm just going to pull that down to minus 0.5 left click and then right hand mouse click to finish and there we go so this is coming along really nice so why don't we do this let's go back to a let's change our views and I'm just doing this so our our prints are a little easier to look at there we go and so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, create these holes these eight holes that go on this flange here so we can see this dimension from center line is 3.41 and the diameter is 0.41. So let's do that. Let's turn that off. Let's turn our part back on again. We already have our construction plane set up. So why don't I hit the space bar, go to plane, and let's start creating those holes. So the arc command will be good for this. We're going to say the diameter is 0.41. And for the x value, that's going to be 3.41 that looks good so we'll click OK to that now with that circle created why don't we just use the rotate command for this so I'm going to select that circle and let's use the rotate command we're gonna rotate around the datum here that looks great and we're gonna say copy set to 7 we're gonna be rotating around the x-axis so we're gonna type in 45 for that that looks good so we'll click OK and when we're finished we can right hand mouse click that's looking really good now all we need to do now is just use that extrude cut command again which we can easily do let's go back over here to our extrude cut we're gonna left hand mouse click and just drag that down and we're gonna do that the same for each hole what you do is you just left click and just drag the circle in the direction that you'd like to cut and that's really as, as simple as that you can type in values if you want to but in this case it's just as easy just to grab those circles and pull them down and when we're finished we can right hand mouse click alright so for now I'm gonna turn the construction plane display off that looks very good and why don't we take our wireframe geometry and put that on a separate layer this is something you don't have to do but why don't we do that we're gonna select by color we'll select all the blue and let's go to modify and we're gonna put that on a layer called wireframe so wireframe we'll click OK that looks very good so we'll turn that layer off and there you go there is the solid model created within one CNC using some very simple steps thanks for watching I look forward to seeing you in the next video